Hey guys, Cool Blowing back. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we are back with Lucifer, where previously we had to deal with Go Yoga. Yoga. That was the main plot of the episode. Yep. yep. And nothing else matters. We learned a lot about the world and what humanity is capable of. And Chloe came to terms with the fact that her gift is that she can see Lucifer as he is, not how he wants to be seen. So the gift wasn't the goat? I think no. the gift was the goat. Oh. You have to pay for the goat. You shouldn't lick a goat horse in the mouth. That's not no. You shouldn't lick a goat horse? Gift horse. <laughs> not lick. I'll we'll say a goat horse would be kind of cool. You mean like a horse goat? It's a donkey. No, like horns and shit. It's a donkey. That's terrifying. No, a donkey doesn't have uh, horns. That one dwarf in The Hobbit. Goat thing, right? Like a ram? Like yeah. A, like a go goat. You know go goat, right? Oh. Oh. Quiet. Well, let's turn it up, shall we? Yeah, I want to hear the lips smacking. Did you hear something? You're not Decker. It's just the ocean. You're not, You're not Lucifer. Lucifer. Oh. Ah! Oh! Ah! Turn it down! Oh, <laughs> we have a Halloween episode. Oh, man, oh he's, he's getting a twofer. Oh, it's a squirrel. Oh. oh, man, it is. They're doing great. Dude, it's Danny from The, the room? room. Hey, what are you guys doing? This guy wishes. Can I join you? <laughs> I just like to watch. <laughs> I can hear the crowd. The music isn't loud enough. Are his headphones shocking him? Yeah. He's gonna fall in the crowd. Everyone's gonna be like, yeah! Oh my gosh. He's dead. You're playing with a dead body. Good thing he's not still being electrocuted. Man, I was hoping for a horror movie. Me too. Oh my Disappointed. gosh. Disappointed. You think he was the shock master? Like. Oh, like the oh, rest of uh, Fingers. Oh, Finger hold. Fingers. Fingers. What? Did you guys come together? Uh, no. Poor choice of words. Dead bodies. They came together, Eric. So, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's she lying in front of him? He knew. I just don't want my sex life discussed in the You had sex in the workplace with Pierce. Yeah, but she doesn't want it discussed. There's a dead body here. Hall of Justice. How does one get electrocuted with headphones? That's my question. The current travels through the wire and into his skin. Now you add sea air and his sweat. Perfect combo for maximum voltage. Oh, that'd be a sick DJ name. But what about amperage? So anyway, well, we're not even sure it's a murder yet. Eric, were those the headphones I got you? No. Oh, okay. Did you cut them up? They're my one ear headphones. They're, I don't have to cut them. I'll get you a new pair, Eric. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wear them. <laughs> Someone sabotaged Pex's setup before he went on stage, and so that, with the live wire and the headphones... And for age of 47. Yep. We did this. We did? Yeah. Twist.tv slash blindly. I'm so sorry. We've been up all night. You're welcome to stay. Does a minute you have to sleep? Pain and suffering. Oh. <laughs> he slept with me. <laughs> Pain and suffering. <laughs> He slept with Linda, too. Oh, you mean like actually slept, slept? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Try swaddling him. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Take him flying. I sure. Scared. People will love that shit. Wait, I got you. Oh, thanks. He's a killer. Yep. Killer, killer, he's a killer. Who's a killer? Hit him. Fuck that guy. Look at that tie. Be terrible cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's him. <laughs> I was justified. What am I type? She's just like it, perfectly adorable. Exactly. Not all of us can be. She wants a bad boy, not some sweet guy who buy her coffee. Carnal, really? Must Do you know Carnal? Carnal Sanders. Jed and I dated. Jealousy storyline. So you're still married to that guy, Dave? Dan. Yeah, his, his name is Dan. Stick it up for yeah. Dan. Dan. He's got the bracelet, man. Dan. Dan's the man. Relationship. Um, I... no, you're not in a, a relationship, uh, per se. She took Ella away to have a private conversation, but not this time. Yeah, no. Well, they haven't set boundaries labels yet, right. so she's probably in a weird predicament of what do you say. And she's saying it right in front of him, not knowing what to say. Like, if he wasn't there, would she have said yes? Would she have said no? Who's the killer? Jed or Pete? Pete! You gotta go with Pete. <laughs> Pete equals killer. I already wrote it down. Pete. You're wrong. What was what was his name? Can you repeat it? I am committed to not Pete. suspect Pete. 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 Pete and repeat. Pete is innocent. I will die on this though. What happens if he's not and you die? <laughs> well, all right. I get to stab Eric in the neck. People talk. 
and I don't want that. You didn't and care with Pierce. This. Well, she cares now because of that past experience. He was also the boss, and what's like? What's he gonna do? Lucifer's the devil. Sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. Show. That was so good. <laughs> Texas headphones. He borrowed those from me. Someone was trying to kill him, which means he did not do it, Eric. Which means it was Pete. Sure, I was with my producer the whole time. Just, just ask him. Oh, we will. Well, they were producer might be a good one. Try to kill him. Name Pete. Pete. It's not Pete. It's not Pete. Oh, I hope it is. I hope it is. So you, you're not saying who it is. You're just saying it's not Pete. It's not Pete. Yeah, right. They broke up right before I met Chloe. But I always kind of felt like I was living in his shadow, you know? <clears throat> oh, like you were the rebound? The detective had a child with you, and I've never felt in the slightest bit threatened. Well, you're right. Lucifer, you should have nothing to worry about. He loves you. You're the fucking devil. You're way more handsome. I wouldn't put anything past him. Thanks, Dan. I like Dan. Dan Dan's a man. Except for when he, like, stole evidence. Shot that guy. Yeah. Send that one guy to the cartel or whatever. Beat that other guy to death. Maze. Thanks, Cherry Jane. Why did he call her Cherry Jane? Nickname. Mary Jane's copyrighted. He's over me. Yes, he's completely over Cherry me. Jane Foundation. Assuming anyone wanted to murder Jack. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, that framing. I didn't even get to say it yet. I was like, man, I feel like the building's gonna blow Watch up. Watch out for that <laughs> tree. <laughs> Jet would be here right now if we hadn't kept him at the precinct. Yet he isn't. He could have been blown to bits. Yet he wasn't. Why do you think he's behind all this? <laughs> I think he's frustrated that he wasn't. <laughs> no one would go that far just to be near me. Well, I did go to hell and back a few twice, but who's counting? <laughs> I know evil. And you, my friend, are not it. I like that. From an audience perspective, it feels like so much more yeah. than what he gets out of like, yeah, thank you, buddy. You know? Uh, he's an angel. He knows you. Stop! <laughs> Belinda? Is she a bush? Yeah, she she is. is. Oh my gosh, this is biblical shit. Snakes and talking bushes? Do you know how long I have been waiting for copulation? You and me both. Clearly, I'm not aware. What did you desire from Jed? I want him to pay. Pay you for helping him fake his murder attempts. <laughs> Wait, he's shaking his head. Murder. You're interested in her. I'm not interested okay. in her. The detective and I are seeing each other, which is why your little ruse is not going to turn each other. <laughs> I missed you at the show. I missed you at your studio. But you won't get away next time. Sounds oh, sounds ominous. Money. Will they, won't they? Kept her hooked. Then we became a couple and just lost interest oh so is he gonna <laughs> better for a show what i didn't realize was once she saw me she was done because yes. underneath the handsome the sexy the fun it was nothing it's just me oh. <laughs> what she went through with you is nothing compared to what she went through with lucifer yeah she went to the fucking vatican <laughs> you know how's that for mystery hey lucifer uh listen i'm just calling to make sure oh that was fast bella Nope, it's Maze. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have that exact same shirt. Did yes. she go take her clothes? You did. Did you steal my clothes? Oh. <laughs> Loud music can damage hearing. Oh, so maybe sure. Carnal Girl 506 might wear a hearing aid. Took away my world. They became okay. deaf because of some. Th now they're gonna kill? Right? Kind of like related yeah, maybe. in some way. Speed wear a hearing aid. <laughs> I think our head's starting to lose some steam, Rick. It's Pete. Believe. I'm Pete. It is worse me hasn't shown back up. Perfectly natural that she's so clueless because no one ever... Oh. Oh, okay. Wait, he called her clueless? Oh. He gave her the same speech that Wait. Dan gave him. Linda's out. <laughs> My gosh, that's Linda. <laughs> she's like a little pink tail. Her glowing. <laughs> Look at Chloe. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Look at his face. Do you have any ideas how to stop this? What is it what you, do you truly desire? desire? I have this reoccurring dream where I open the fridge and the only thing that is there is orange juice. Fascinating. <laughs> I don't know why your face there, I love it. The eye, the eye motion. This is how I did it when I had a baby. You know, 
With Chloe. Chloe. With Chloe. <laughs> I'm just a magnet for losers. Bitch. See? <laughs> just one line. Oh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Essentially, he's the oldest, most immature person in the world. Nay, universe. That doctor patient confidentiality moment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. If our killer isn't here, <laughs> they're at the house. He left the Lux, went to the house, they saw him leave, they followed him there, yeah. and they're gonna blow up the baby. Answer the phone. You oh, God, Lucifer. The hell, man. Well, you see, Daniel, the detective is a detective. So I'm being a mystery. Well, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Yeah. Jed explains it much better, don't you, Jed? Where's Jed? He's not safe. Jed's dead. Pete. <laughs> it's not Pete. I bet it's Pete. It's not Pete. We haven't seen him again, Eric. It must be someone we've never seen. Him, right? It's got to be like his sister or something. No, the whole Alice storyline means she has to date Pete. Who's the killer? Ha! <laughs> The baby likes it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's all. No. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> oh, that's good. He's going to start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to help me to get Charlie to stop <laughs> Like on a regular basis. <laughs> oh my so gosh. Funny. That's so good. <laughs> so fucking <laughs> good. What's up, everybody? He came to the sting. Man, you have to be so talented to be a DJ. Oh my god, did she never check her ears? It was her! I can't believe it. Is that the X? Ow! She was gonna just take a take a video. She wanted to take a selfie! Who's that? Who's that guy? That's the ex that doesn't like her. It's jealousy. Some guy we never fucking met. Man, someone turned off the lights real quick. I messed up with the other DJ. And then with the explosion. Where are you getting bombs from? You bought them beat. Damn! Damn! She yanked him so hard. Where's Linda? So Some girl can't alcohol. drink. Oh, hey. Thanks, Sam. We're good here. He fucking Plus tried to kill him. Do you want to go out with me? Really? Yes, yeah. you want. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I mean, great. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is the best response. Breaking news. Local journalist gets cute girl's phone number. Oh, jeez. For Pete's sake. Uh, yeah. uh, see what I did there? I see what you did there. He's the killer. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to find your soulmate. You can't find a soulmate if you don't have a soulmate. Confusing statement, Taylor. Well, case is closed. <laughs> well, I know you two are useless when it comes to women, but Daniel, you surely should have some sort of <laughs> self help mumbo jumbo. <laughs> self help mumbo jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> is it too late for you to come back? I'm so sorry, you forgot something. <sighs> what? What the? That's not Lucifer. Is it? Uh, is it Michael? Uh, no, Michael. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Brother. He called him so he him. would see it. Yep. That's why you keep the blinds shut. Ah! Dan knows. He does. He's gonna go to the Vatican dude, now. Dude, but, but everyone else that sees it usually always freaks out and does. I don't want Dan to go all fucking. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh! No. Fuck you, Michael. Fucking Michael. He threw his phone out the window! Oh, um, I'll see you tomorrow, then. Absolutely, yes, tomorrow. Yeah. Just say, the license music has kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like a date, and you walk in the door, and they're just like, all right, have a good one, and they just put their key in, go in. No! Don't break the Shoot. piano now. Yeah. Is it Dan? It probably is Dan. <laughs> There's a devil! He's got some shit to say. <laughs> this episode started with sex and it's gonna end with. Who comes up with a squirt gun this time? Or a real gun. It's not a forked penis. <laughs> it's not? <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn, Jerry. That's when you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Jerry. <sighs> well, now the sexual tension has been cut and the show's over. No one cares anymore, right? Yep. See you guys. I liked how it, 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 it like, the discussion he had with Jed, and granted it was manipulation, manipulation, but it was a way of having, like, that meta conversation about, like, we've strung people along for oh, five yeah. seasons yeah. and six episodes to the moment where it happens. Now are you going to care as much about a relationship? Because that's always been the death of shows is when sure. oh, they finally get together and now you don't really care as much. It's not as good as before it happened, you know? Yep. So it was a fun way of confronting that. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, yeah. they got me good with Dan. Seeing him. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, sure. why is he calling him? Yeah. See, well, if you have the mystery aspect of it, yeah, yeah. I, I was like, it doesn't make sense for him to call him. Mm -hmm. But the mystery aspect of it's gone with like the whole, well, they won't, they get together, and now they are. Now you have the new one kind of hooking you again right now. It, it's, you're not there, right? You know, the the episode of Rodan and him calling it, and you have him being like, ah, you yeah. threw his butt out the window. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. The episode wrote it in a it's way where so it gave you these little things that are going to culminate to it, and it makes sense. Like I don't, I wasn't thinking about the window being thrown out. I wasn't really thinking about Lucifer is now. Like completely open to showing his devil face as much as possible for this baby, so he's not going to be worried about it, you know. Yeah. And it just those two things came together. Michael knew it. Just would have pulled the blinds good. first. I'm, and, In the middle and, of night. And now yeah. I'm like, I don't like, you know, it's great that those two are together, and I'm happy for them. But Dan, <laughs> you know, what is he going to do? What can Dan really accomplish? It's Dan. <sighs> I mean, he just mentioned about the terrible things that he had done before. In the middle you know? of the night, you gotta have your blinds shut or your lights off. Yeah. Otherwise, anyone outside can just see on it. Yeah. So Dan knows obviously about Lucifer, but he also knows Amenadiel has been lying to him, and he doesn't know about Linda yet. But he might suspect that yeah, Linda. He general. may also be very confused as to what happened. Like maybe there's like a, I don't know what I just saw kind of thing. But his name's also Lucifer. He has said he's the devil. Like he well, may also just be like. You know, I am a detective. And you there's a what? divine radiance to it, right? Like, it's not just the fact that it's a scary face. Like, will he go, will he go crazy? Like, other people have gone, like... It's it's proof of the divine. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just like, well, he's or wearing a Halloween mask. Demonic. <laughs> Infernal. I love the use of the devil face in this. That's what calms Charlie down. Do it again, do it again. It's like, it's his favorite <laughs> uncle. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the kid, like, ah. <laughs> I also liked it. Like, Dan was able to put him to bed for a little bit mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. Jen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And You're going too fast. See? Come on. I learned this when I had a baby with Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I love that everybody was able to get their digs in while he was there. Fucking Jed. But Jed turned out to be cool at the end. I guess. Fucking Pete. I mean, he asked, he asked straight up before, like, are you with anybody? You know? So it's not like he was trying to go in on her until we learned that Lucifer liked her. But yeah. was, he didn't, it wasn't until he learned that Chloe likes him back. Sure, but then he, had, he took Lucifer to the place, got out of there, went back to the place mm -hmm. to sing a song for her. Yeah. After he knew that Lucifer yeah. was, like, interested yeah. in stuff. sure. So there was definitely... Well, from his point of view, he asks her, she says no. This guy says, actually, yes. You know, he doesn't know that this guy is being room. truthful. There's wiggle you know? room Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, obviously it's she... like, well, I mean, how many women out there... Have like, well, no, we're just friends, but there's a guy that really, really likes her and would say well, that. It's you know, it's the relation of him. Guys and are weird and do that. Carnal shit. girl, whatever. Like, she she didn't say she was married, and we had a one night thing and stuff. And it's like, do you blame him? And he he's a homewrecker and stuff. Or was sure. it like, well, there was a fan he hooked up with her, and he didn't know that she was married, or that didn't know that she was with anybody, or you know, whatever. Yeah. Sure. I, I don't know. Or maybe he did, and he thought there was wiggle room. And he didn't care. It was one of those episodes where they didn't tell us, give us anything beforehand. But sometimes they have that, where it's like, just some, someone you didn't know was the sure. killer. Or yeah. whatever, trying to kill him. Other times it's like, this guy, or this guy. Sharon Osborne. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like, is it her? <laughs> Sharon yeah. Osborne. I mean, it, it, Such a throw. We get the message, right, from the, uh, the message board. It's like, I missed you here, I missed you there, but I'm going to get you here. But she was, she's posting as, and I'm going to get you again. Yeah. Uh, I guess he. that's how he, I don't know. 
Well, I, I missed you. He used it, right? I missed you at yeah. your studio. Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't see yeah. you there. I missed you at the show. Oh, I didn't see you there. But sure. I won't miss you next time. Mm-hmm. And then we can hook up again. I think is what she was going yeah. for. That's why her stare was so like. Well, no, I th- I think that was the husband hmm. said because he said you took my world from me. That's why he said like she was my world. She was everything to me. I guess she could have logged into it, but it didn't. I don't know. If I was going to kill somebody, I wouldn't send him messages saying I was going to kill him. I mean, it could have been it wasn't husband. her saying, like... No, I'm just saying it wasn't smart. Like, but I still think it was you, him. I didn't realize what the world was. And now after you, you took my world from me. Sure. Like, that was the world that night. Uh-huh. You took it from me, I need yeah. it again. I mean, she didn't seem the most stable person. Sure. And she has a pineapple birthmark <laughs> that her ex said was disgusting. <laughs> and the, the husband loved her. <laughs> you know? And he has some elaborate way of making bumps. I guess. Why DJ Carnal? Like Carnal Desires. Yeah, well, like Carnal Sin, right? Isn't that a thing, too? Like, mm-hmm. I was just wondering if like, there was a reason that uh, he was DJ Carnal. Also, his, like, was that his symbol? Or was that, that was his symbol, right? That was his DJ symbol. It was like a symbol. circle, but then it had like the male and female, but it had like two arrows and one mm-hmm. menage a trois. Yeah, it was like a devil's three-way. I mean, it had horns. Kind of yeah. So maybe it, it related to like Carnal Sin kind of yeah, thing? it fits. Carnal Knowledge. And Carnal Sanders. Any of that. You made that joke already. I know, but in case it got Stop. cut. Stop. In case it got cut, I gotta put it It wasn't good it. enough. That's why it got cut. Cut that again. <laughs> I have a question. Yep. I hesitate asking it. It's the thing I was like, eh. Linda says, Lucifer has a perfect penis. Is Lucifer circumcised? No. Because circumcision, circumcision is technically a covenant with God from the Jewish tradition, yes. which is carried over. But he wouldn't do that, right? He wouldn't. I'd assume no. So yeah. it's a perfect penis, one that is That's also her opinion. opinion. Like That's like your opinion, man. Sure. That's the best penis she has had. Yeah. Or so seen. that's why it's like the perfect one. But sure. right? what's her like... What's her standard? What's the number, right? Like, yeah. Is she comparing this to like... Three penises. Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought at you the meant very like least length. two Aminadels. I mean, his yeah, thousands right? of women. Is also like divine. Yeah, a Aminadel, an angel. Yeah, and Lucifer, an angel. But yet, Lucifer has yeah. a perfect penis. Yeah. Or, I mean, they didn't talk about Aminadel's penis. Yeah. What if they both have perfect? They could penises? both be perfect. I mean, yeah. That wasn't what she was saying. But like, you know, we had the whole hu- ex-husband or whatever it was, the ex. Person. Tortured yeah. in hell. Like, obviously his penis was not perfect. I right? was just forced as a viewer sure. to imagine the perfect penis, sure. not forked, and was wondering if I should have a hood. Mm. Why didn't you imagine your own? Well, mine's not perfect. Or divine. Mine is. I sure. didn't imagine yours. Damn it, why not? I haven't seen it, Aaron. No, I have what's called Papa Bear syndrome. <laughs> what? That <laughs> fucking makes babies do condoms. I don't know if it's better it or does. worse. Like, I don't it's know if like it means a, it's broken or super powerful. I don't know what no, it means. It's like a, a particle accelerator. <laughs> oh my goodness. Would you say Papa Bear? Papa Bear syndrome. Is that a thing? Where it's not what are you the Goldilocks. Like? Oh, okay. It's the Papa Bear. Like, so this bed's too small, so this bed's too big, too hard, this one's just right. Too soft? Aaron. Dude, this shot when Jed comes in like. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just the I love that so much. It was so <laughs> stupid, but so good. This one was funnier than average. One, yeah. Yeah. What was the deal with the, the lady getting animals having sex sounds? Like, that's the whole... Like, that's her thing. That's is, her job. But what's the... Someone's got to do it. Do they? Yeah. What's yeah. for? Science. Nature documentaries. Yeah. Do you know how rare we need to document rattlesnake these sex yeah. sounds are? If the rattlesnake went extinct, we would never have known. But why do we need those? We need to know. Yeah. We have to study maiden patterns. This is how we have population control. That one of uh, frogs or whatever went very viral. Uh, turtles? turtles. Is it turtles? <laughs> that one. <laughs> or he's fucking the shoe. The shoe. Yeah. Or the shoe, other man. Yeah. The hot shoe, man. The shoe's getting it. <laughs> we all had a different version of it, too. <laughs> we all seen his different turtle video. <laughs> so, yeah. how, what, Pete wasn't the killer. He was the killer! He wasn't the killer! He killed! I he live was. on this hill! He's, King of the hill! He's yeah. a lady killer. Is he? <laughs> that, that's what I said! He, Calvin, shut up! I'm making a joke. He I got said the joke first! <laughs> he barely got in it a second time. <laughs> yeah, sure. But, I mean, I did like kind of the... We, we have growth happening with Ella and Maze both, and they both kind of work They're both lifting each other up. the way that it's going, which yeah. I thought was kind of nice, rather than like... Like, we definitely have had Ella with her... Like bad, bad boy white syndrome. Thing. 
Yeah. Although I found it a little weird when she's like dancing in the club. She goes, "Oh, bad boy." No, no, no. like like it was like an addiction or like a compulsion. Like, I don't know, yeah, like she had no control. Like, oh, okay, okay. Here, oh, nice lobes. Oh, okay, okay. And then we just cut back to her. She's like, oh. <laughs> like, like there was no control like to be yeah, had. She's it a was very just, open person. Bad boy, go. You know, yeah. I was like ah. Just being a very open person isn't always great. Or yeah, productive. I just thought it was like the way it was done. It was ridiculous. I just thought it was. Like I love of... that bad boy. Who I'm assuming is the name of his character. Yeah, had one line and it was, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and left. Huh. <laughs> Exit left. <laughs> he made the most of what he had. Hey, well, you were in Lucifer. Yeah. Oh, what was your line? <sighs> bitch. Who'd you say it to? <laughs> I also enjoyed like when talking about uh, Jed and different things. Like how much he cared or whatever, and then Lucifer's like, "I went to hell and back for you twice." twice. <laughs> you know? yeah. I was like, "Well, yeah, yeah, you can't do much more, but you're also an angel." <laughs> it's easier for you. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> like if Jed did that, it's like, "Geez, okay, what the hell?" We have Maze here, uh, another uh, mimicry that she's doing, and ending with the well, there's a soul made out for everybody. I don't have a soul. Like poor Ella didn't. She doesn't know. Yeah. There's it's no the right argument that say. she can make to refute that. Like, she was doing fine until then. Yeah. And he just has to have some more personal growth. I think she's getting there. I think she is, too. I've enjoyed her journey, too. Her trying to copy Ella was fun. Yeah. And all the outfits in the sting were just... Oh, my gosh. Like, ridiculous. Chloe Decker ridiculous. had to pull off, like, the actress pulled <laughs> off a pretty emotional, like... I love that <laughs> moment. And she's wearing the most ridiculous thing. And she's six feet or six it's, inches higher than she usually is. It's yeah. the most ridiculous thing that she's ever had to wear. I think so. Given what Chloe Decker, yeah. who she is. Yeah. Right? Like someone else could have worn that and it might have worked. But. Sure. Also, was she also drinking? Because no, she's like on duty. I don't think so. Okay. Linda was. Linda I don't definitely even, was. I don't even know if Maze was or Ella. And Maze doesn't get affected anyway, right? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they all had drinks. Sure. You got to pretend. But Linda was drinking. I mean, they they deserve it. good for her. They may have had one to start them off. That way, they could hold like a glass or whatever. But Linda was ordering more. Yeah, I don't think she ever really made it off the couch, except to talk to Chloe on the second and floor. And to check balcony. the bathroom. And to check the bathroom. The uh, I love the Menadiel. Like his like, I don't even know what the line was, but. The, like I told her how she was being unreasonable and da da da. Oh, okay. <laughs> that whole kind of I see thing. What might have happened? Yeah, I see what might have happened there. <laughs> I thought that was great because it's so fun to have like, like he's in a relationship. He's not used to humans necessarily. It's all new to him. Like Lucifer, at least, is familiar with people. He's been around him a lot more and he stuff. Is. And yeah, but he's but, still at times equally as oblivious. Sure. Is. I did like his moment this episode though. It's that uh, classic like I can make fun of my friends, but no one else can. When it's like, I don't know, who's that guy? Dave? Damn. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he stood up for him. I was kind of, he, he's like, I don't know what it was, Dickweed and... Uh, DJ Dickweed. And yeah. DJ something else. I forget what, with another D. I kind of wished he would have called him Douchebag. Because, like, you know, he's called Detective Douchebag for Dan. Yeah. And, like, I like the idea of him, like, transitioning, especially, at least for him, right? Like, the, that, he the was one the, that deserves it. He was the old ex, this is the older ex. Yeah. It's like, all right, hey, that's Dan. You don't taint, you know, his name or whatever, but... You're a DJ douchebag now. Sure. And that, it just kind of transitions over. I have a question, and not to insult not any DJs or up-and-coming or people that are wanting to do such a thing. There's a couple of things first. One is I'm deaf in one ear. Ambient noise really sucks, and I would never go and enjoy something like that. No, I know. When that was going on, I'm like, hey, Eric would hate this place. Yes, yeah. I absolutely hate it. But two, like, is it so like a fun thing to go watch a DJ press a button? I mean, it's not all just pressing one button. Because he pressed place. one button and did sure. this. <laughs> I mean, it's also like the light show, the live music of, of the, the loudspeakers. Like, you can feel it in your chest and yeah. through your feet. And I everything. think most you're, of the work happens beforehand. Sure. Yeah. I, I would say, yeah, you're, you're minimizing. I definitely am, which is why it's, I try it's, to. It's the same idea of, like, is it fun to watch a guy watch TV? You know, like, you could do yeah. that here, and it's like, well, that's sure. ridiculous and dumb. Yeah. No, it's, that sounds yeah. stupid. But this guy, like, he's also, like, crafting different remixes and stuff mm -hmm. and you know like there's different music and stuff I've heard where yeah. I'm like bam this is a really cool remix I like this mm -hmm. so sometimes those guys have DJ shows and sometimes they might have new music and but they do things. all that work before the show right well sure sometimes, so, do, so do singers so do sure but they actually you know, play and sing Metallica well I yeah mean, but there are some DJs who who mix their music live yeah as yeah. well 
And just like also... some singers who have pre-recorded tracks to where they just lip sync to the mic yeah. for their live performances. Sure. And they're also like hyping the crowd and yeah. doing that kind of thing too. And then you have like in between a song, like maybe you get interaction with them and stuff too. You know, like you have that with live shows or DJ shows or whatever where they're talking like you having a good night. It's like this one, this one goes out to Kaylee who's having a birthday today. Or whatever. That's Does a DJ like DJ isn't like. like I mean, they create remixes, I suppose, right? They're not creating, like, original music. Yeah, they can do they, either they one. Do, do they do original, original music? music? Yeah, like Skrillex, Dead Mouse. Like, they do their own original things. Hell, there's been, Are uh... They, uh DJs? Yeah, they're, they're hmm. EDM DJs. Hmm. That's, that's what... I mean, musicians, DJs. Uh, what's that guy? Steve Aoki? Yeah, Steve like, Aoki. Is he, he does remixes, but he also has his own stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it, it's, it's also, um... What's that guy's name? I can't think what it was. Is it with Bruno Mars... Like, sometimes you'll get stuff where it's, like, Bruno Mars featuring whatever. And it's, like, sure Bruno enough. Mars teamed up with this DJ yeah. who did, like, the music side of mm-hmm. it. And then Bruno Mars sang the song mm-hmm. of it and stuff. The lyrics too, or so. whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, yeah, they do all kinds yeah. of stuff. So it was just, like, any other live show. Yeah. yeah. But it's I don't like know if you, you wanted to go I see. Like, I tried to put as much as my ignorance out on the table as possible. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't know if you would like... <laughs> Like, would you like a concert? Have you been to many, like, just concert yes. concerts? Like, I would, I would it seems greatly like, enjoy watching, like, Metallica sure. play their music. But it like, sounds like it would be almost... But I would hate to just, like, see... I mean, I, it wouldn't be wonderful for me to, like, see Metallica on the stage and then just press play. Well, but, like, what if you go to Michael Jackson and it's all pre-recorded and he's lip Is he dancing? Is he dancing? But he's dancing. He's dancing. Okay. Like... A DJ was dancing. Sure, but not yeah. Michael Jackson. <laughs> I mean, is that the limit? Yeah, <laughs> dude, Michael Jackson. That's where you draw the line. <laughs> Has to be as good or better than Michael Jackson. Yeah, it's an impossible standard, and I, I don't call anybody for that. But it's just one of those things I was watching. I was like, I'll never go to this. But uh, <laughs> goat it's also yoga, the style you're all of... over. What's that? But goat yoga, you're all you're all about. You're all about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, maybe. I don't know. Am I gonna die when I go? I don't want to die. You might eat some of your shit. Like, when it first don't happened... Don't die at good no, no. yoga. Well, what I meant was, like, in my thoughts, I was thinking, like, okay, people are here. If someone dies, I, I, this is just how I was thinking, like, I would hate to have died here. <laughs> it's what I was thinking in my life. Like, I don't want to be there. And if I died there, I'd be very, very upset. <laughs> at a concert? <laughs> that was my thought <laughs> process <laughs> while we were watching that scene. <laughs> but no, I feel like I've learned something now. Mm. DJs do stuff. Do, do stuff. <laughs> they do <Yeah>. stuff. Okay. <laughs> I hope uh, that you guys enjoyed and uh, learned something as well. Uh, and we're excited to get more into Lucifer. You can go over to patreon.com slash blindly. Watch the next four reactions available right this second. We're getting very uh, into season five at this point. Six coming up. 66.